Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today from my friend Eastside Pasta. So he's an amazing badly. He's also a teammate of mine and he's a streamer as well. So definitely a very strong trainer. And the team we're taking a look at is going to be Steelix with Giratina Origin and Tapu Fini. So two of the Pokemon are non-XL. Steelix is an XL Pokemon. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into these battles. We do have two sets for your 10 games. I don't know how they go. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how they go. But either way, Giratina into the Shadow Wall Rain right now. I imagine this comes close to KO. Okay, it actually does just straight up KO. Out comes Steelix. Um, so Steelix, I guess, does have to watch out for the Earthquake. So we're going to go ahead and see a shield right now. Uh, it's just going to be an Icicle Spear, which is actually really unfortunate. But that's fine. Uh, another attack coming in. I imagine this is probably the Earthquake. Uh, no, another Icicle Spear. Okay. So nice baits by the opponent. Um, this has got to be the Earthquake, unless if the opponent's just not going for Earthquake for some reason. Yeah, that's the Earthquake. Okay, well played by the opponent. The double bait there. I did not expect a double bait uh, at all, so well done. Uh, but Psychic Fangs is coming out. You can see how tanky Steelix is in the Ultra League, though, right? Uh, so Steelix is going to be able to farm down, and against the Swampit, going to go ahead and go for this Earthquake, which will be doing a lot of damage to the Swampit or picking up a shield. Uh, so out comes Tapufini right now. So Sludge Wave would not be good. Most Swampets do do not carry Sludge Wave. They carry Earthquake in the Ultra League. Uh, but Earthquake still does a lot of damage anyway. Out comes Charizard. Ooh, Charizard. Okay. So Charizard actually has to protect itself. But a Blast Band probably KOs. Definitely KOs the Tapu Fini. Uh, but they do not actually make it. Okay, I thought the Charizard was going to make it. Dragon Claw would not KO. So they had to go for the Blast Burn. Um, so Charizard is able to get off the attack now. But not before taking all that damage, which is really nice. So Steelix is going to be able to Dragon Tail down, and out comes the Swamp. And able to get off the Psychic Fangs, but is it going to actually be enough to KO? Oh my gosh, it is not enough to... Oh my gosh, they actually barely get off the attack with Swamp. And oh my gosh, what a close game. Holy cow. Well played. Unfortunately, not going to be able to win that one, but that's okay, because that was really, really close. Moving on, Steelix into Swamp. I'm going to go ahead and switch into Giratina. The opponent going to bring out that Muck. So this Giratina is running Dragon Pulse. And I definitely understand the Dragon Pulse, right? Because you want to be able to hit the Flyers like Pidgeot. Uh, Snorlax, uh, I guess, is also relatively common. Uh, so any of the normal types, obviously, Dragon Pulse will be able to hit. It will also be able to hit the Alolan Muck as well. Um... Could use shielding it to another one, maybe, but just going to let it go. I do agree with that. Just going to let the Giratina go. Um, bringing the Steelix fawn down. Can you fawn down? Oh, this is a Snarl Lolan Muck. Should be able to fawn down, but you will have to take this attack. But Steelix is really tanky in the Ultra League, so it's going to be able to take that just fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I actually really want to build an Exo Steelix, to be honest. Unfortunately, Muck is able to make it to another attack. But still, we know Steelix can take it. Just fine. Uh, we're going to see the Earthquake into the Swampet. I don't know if the opponent's going to shield this or not. I guess we'll find out. They do not shield it. So out comes Tapu Fini. Um, Swampet is staying in. So that means maybe a weak to Tapu Fini in the back. Maybe it's a fire type like Charizard. Uh, so we'll see. Oh, the opponent with that bait. Well done there. But Tapu Fini can go ahead and go for this Surf, which will be enough to KO. They are shielding. It must be a Charizard in the back. I don't know. A Talonflame? Probably Charizard. Tapu Fini is going to go ahead and shield this one up. It's going to be another bait, but I think you could farm down. Okay, this is just another Hydro Cannon, though, so the Swampy cannot make it to an Earthquake, which is good. It is... Uh, oh, it actually is the Talonflame. Okay. The only thing is they, they did get to a Brave Bird, so the Talonflame is at the Brave Bird now. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and switch into Steelix. Um, this is Flame Charge. They need one more for another Brave Bird, and they're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. No, they're not going to make it because this uh, Tapu Fini is able to get to a Surf, but will it be enough to KO? It is enough to KO, and now the Swampet is going to go down. Very well played. Let's go. Really well done. Let's go. East Side Pass is a really strong battler. Okay, moving on. We do have, ooh, the Steelix into the Verizian. Definitely not favorable for the Steelix because of the double kick, because of the Sacred Sword. Uh, but just going to go ahead and let this one go. Psychic Fangs is super effective, but going to go ahead and actually switch into the Giratina. Out comes Jellicent. Ooh, interesting. Okay. 
So that is fine. Givatina is going to be able to go for a Shadow Ball. Oh, that does so much damage. They call the Ominous Wind bait. This Givatina is not running Ominous Wind. But obviously, when you battle Givatina, you generally assume it does have Ominous Wind. Um, but Givatina is going to be able to invest the shield and farm down. Definitely worth it. Able to take Switch there. The opponent is just, they don't want any part of it. They're going to concede. Good game. Moving on. Steelix into Pidgeot. You love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. The switch into give it, uh, Jellicent. Okay. Um, I guess you don't really have a, a, a super hard answer uh, to to Jellicent. But, I mean, Givetine is fine. Uh, it's just uh, they have an energy advantage. You obviously don't like that. But are we going to see a shield from Gavitina? We are going to see a shield that is Shadow Ball, so that is a really good shield. Um, going to Overfarm. Going for the Shadow Ball. Going for the Shadow Ball right now. Will the, uh, the Jellicent decide the shield? They will not decide the shield. And now the Pidgeot comes in. But this is one of the reasons why East Side Pasta has Dragon Pulse on the Gavitina. They're obviously not going to shield. This is probably going to do... Uh, uh, yeah, almost half. Almost, I thought it would do about half. Almost half. So does able is able to do a decent amount of damage. Um, but still, obviously, not enough to threaten a KO or anything. But still, at least you have play with the Giratina. Now we're going to go ahead and go for another Dragon Pulse. And we're going to see a shield. So Giratina forcing the shield against uh, Pidgeot. You'd love to see it. Um, so Feather Dance, not going to be enough to KO. But the Pidgeot can farm down. But out comes Steelix. Um, okay, so I imagine this is a Break Bird? No, gonna be a Feather Dance, okay. So just gonna debuff the Steelix, so maybe Feather Dance, maybe they'll go for the Break Bird next. If they can get to it, but the Psychic Fangs is going to debuff that Pidgeot. Gonna go ahead and go for another Psychic Fangs. This is probably enough to KO. You probably switch out after uh, the Pidgeot goes. Scrafty's coming out. Oh, go okay, gonna debuff it first and then switch out. I do like that play there. Uh, so forever debuff it, and now the switch comes into the Feeny, and Feeny, I mean Feeny dominates Scrafty, so the debuff not doesn't doesn't matter. <laughs> Feeny dominates Scrafty, right? Good game. Moving on, we have Steelix into uh, Grambo, which is that, well, this is actually a Snarl Grambo, this is actually, even if it was Charm, it really would not be that great, uh, because the Dragon Tail is double resisted, right? Uh, but either way, you could debuff, um, and try to get to another attack. Um, gonna go ahead and shield. It is the close combat, so that is a good shield. And now switching in to catch the next close combat with Giratina. I like it. Definitely a close combat. Uh, very well played. Nice timing. Um, and okay, this should be a crunch. Gonna go ahead and invest the shield, uh, but you kind of really have to. Uh, so Grimble goes down. Outcome Swamp it. They must be really weak in the back. To give it Tina if they're bringing in a Swampert right now. Uh, so, okay, very nice. Able to get off another one. No, the opponent is able to get off an attack. If it's an Earthquake, it should be an Earthquake, right? It is an Earthquake. Uh, it is enough to KO. So the opponent still has two shields. Tapu Fini wants to go for the farm down. It's going to be able to get it, but maybe, yeah, being hit with an Earthquake first. Which I guess is a little bit unfortunate because the opponent still has two shields. So whatever's in the back. Ooh, Talonflame. Gonna go ahead and go for one Surf. This will obviously pick up the shield. And switching out to catch the next attack. I do like that, although it's going to be a Flame Charge. Uh, so Flame Charge is super effective. Now we do see a Psychic Fangs into the Talon Flame. Can East Side pass to pull this one out? Uh, the opponent still has a shield. No shield. Okay, they're gonna go ahead and go for a Flame Charge, but they're out of energy now. And they are debuffs that makes it the Psychic Fangs. So, oh my gosh, able to farm down, absolutely, wow, that's crazy, the opponent had a two shield advantage, east side pass is still able to say, I don't care, able to win that one, good game to both trainers. Moving on, we do have a Dragonite from the opponent, but this Steelix has Dragon Tail, which is super effective, um, going for the Psychic Fangs, I like it, so yeah, uh, the Dragonite does have super power, obviously, right, but that is okay. Uh, because first of all, you, you should survive one, plus you can invest the shield. I think they will go for the superpower, they do. Um, yeah, I mean, as I say, you do survive that, but it's still worth the shield. At least I think you survive it. Um, um, okay, gonna go ahead and go for this uh, Psychic Fangs, and then probably switch. Yeah, gonna switch out in the Giratina, good play. 
Uh, so out comes Reggie Steele. This is a great matchup for Giratina. And then you have the Tapu Fini for that uh, Kabalian. So you're looking really good here. Uh, they're going to go ahead and go for that. Oh, Flesh Cannon. Okay, so they do have an attack that is neutral. I thought it was going to be uh, Zap Cannon, but no, they actually do have Flesh Cannon, uh, which makes it a little bit better uh, for the for the Registeel. A lot better, actually, but that's okay. Giratina is going to be able to go for this attack right now. Shadow Ball going to connect. Uh, trying to get to one more. An attack coming in from the Registeel. Uh, going to go ahead and shield it. I would say it's worth the shield. Um, although at this point, I, I really think this is definitely going to be a win regardless. Uh, Giratina is going to go ahead and go for another Shadow Ball. We do see that shield. Out comes Kabalian. Out comes Tapu Fini. We know the Stone Edge attacks are coming in. But you basically just need to get to a Moon Blast, right? Uh, you can take two Stone Edge attacks. Trying to get to the Moon Blast. Able to get to it. Very nice. And actually, it doesn't KO. But at least you get it off. It's going to be neutral damage. Beautiful neutral damage. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this, the Kabalian will be able to get to an attack totally fine. Um, and now able to farm down. You love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, Reggie Steel coming in. The opponent just going to concede. Yeah, that's going to be a beautiful game. Very well played to both trainers. Moving on, we do have Steelix into Scrafty. So not a good matchup. Uh, I'm going to switch into the Giratina, which... Hmm. I mean, you you do have the Dragon... The... Uh, the um, the Dragon Pulse, right? Which at least will be able to hit the Scrafty. You're gonna go ahead and invest the shield. Still not great though, but I mean, the at the end of the day, the Giratina can take uh, a foul play. So the Dragon Pulse is coming in. I guess one more Dragon Pulse will probably barely not knock out. Maybe it will after the Shadow Claws. Um, okay, we might see a Shadow Ball here. Uh, no, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the, the uh, Dragon Pulse. Probably picking up the shield from the opponent. No, they actually just let it go. Okay, Giratina able to beat Scrafty. Very well done. Out comes Tangrowth. Okay, Tangrowth is really spicy for sure. Very cool. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and see the Shadow Ball. And that will pick up the shield. They're going for the farm down, but they're not going to be able to get it. Not before a Shadow Ball comes out. I mean, they'll be able to get it, but not before a Shadow Ball comes out. Uh, obviously, you don't want the Feeny into this type of, uh, into this Tangrowth, right? So you do have to bring in the Steelix. Um, okay, I mean, Power Whip is neutral. Uh, it is Power Whip, as expected. I mean, of course it's Power Whip, but I mean, still, Steelix is really, really, really tanky, so able to take that just fine. Uh, we do see another Power Whip. Uh, you don't really want to take another one, but the opponent with the catch onto Talonflame. Oh, you do have the Feeny, though. You do have the beautiful Feeny. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out. I would love to see a Water Gun down. Can we see that? I don't know, I mean, because if this is... Well, is this Brave Bird? Gonna go ahead and take it. It is Brave Bird, but still, I mean, you don't need to shield that. Should be able to get the Water Gun down now. Yep. Yeah, you don't need to shield that. Um, and the opponent's gonna concede there. You still have a shield. You had the Moon Blast ready. You had the Steelix in the back. Uh, yeah, that was gonna be a win. Good game. Moving on. Steelix into Machamp. Definitely not a good matchup, but you do have two answers to Fighting Types in the back. So gonna go ahead and switch into Giratina. I, I like this team. I, I don't have a Steelix and Excel Steelix to build. Uh, but if I did, really cool team. They actually bring in Reggie Steel, uh, which is unless they have Flesh Cannon, really really good for the Giratina. So, um, I mean, even if they have Flesh Cannon, it's still good uh, for the Giratina because look how much these Shadow Balls are doing. You just need one more, right? Uh, even if they get, I mean, you obviously don't shield. Even if they get the debuff here, uh, it is the Zap Cannon, and they do get the debuff, but not a big deal. I'm um, going to be able to... Are we going to see a farm down? I think we're actually going to see a farm down. I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. It's going to be a focus blast. Ooh, not going to shield that. They expected the shield. That's why they went for the focus blast. I love that farm down. Huge farm down. Huge no shield. The Machamp will be able to throw an attack. A crush chop will not KO. It is a crush chop. That is not going to KO. Maybe they were hoping Giratina would shield because they had so much energy. But Giratina is not shielded. It's going to be able to get off the Shadow Ball. Another crush chop. This one should KO, but at the end of the day, Giratina did what it had to do. You have the Feeny for that Machamp, right? Uh, so the Feeny is coming in. Uh, the switch into Jellicent. Out comes the Steelix. Uh, yeah, they have Surf, but that's totally fine. Obviously, you could take Surf. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Psychic Fangs. Uh, we're going to see Surf is coming out. Totally fine. Uh, just let it go. No problem. 
Um, you could take another one just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and shield it though. I, I, I get that shield. I mean, I guess wanting to preserve health. Uh, I'm gonna charge up for the earthquake. Or, well, the possible crunch. The opponent is gonna be able to throw another surf. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shield. So the Steelix has a possible crunch. The opponent could shield this one if they're afraid of the crunch, but let's see what happens. They do shield it. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful going for another Psychic Fangs. Uh, and then the switch. And yeah, gonna be able to farm this all the way down. Uh, and get off of, should be able to get off a of Moonblast, I think, against the Jellicent, right? Rockside obviously not gonna do much. And yeah, able to get easily get off the Moonblast into the Jellicent. Tapu Fini putting in a lot of work. And it's not enough to KO, but you could water gun down. Good game, well played to both trainers, able to take that one. Love it. Moving on, we do have Steelix into Giratina. Okay, you're doing super effective damage. Absolutely amazing. Um, okay, we'll see. I mean, if they have Dragon Claw, uh, they probably have, to be honest, they actually bring Cresselia. Uh, but they could have Dragon Claw and Ancient Power, so they really don't have anything to touch the Steelix. That's why they switched out. Uh, out comes Giratina. Now, you are weak to the Moonblast. That is a thing, but you could take a Moonblast. Um, you can't take another one though, so I'm gonna be able to get to the Shadow Ball before the Cresselia is able to get off a move, so very nice. Uh, this will KO. It wouldn't KO at full health if the Cresselia was at full health. That's why the Earthquake came out from the Steelix. Um, uh, so very nice. Let's see what comes in. Gonna be that Giratina, okay. Do you let this go? Yep, gonna go ahead and let it go. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, they definitely have Dragon Claw Ancient Power. Ooh, Kabalion, but you can't switch out yet, which is unfortunate. So, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Psychic Fangs and then hope that you could switch out afterwards. Yep, going to be able to switch out now. Uh, now we know Stone Edge attacks are coming through. going to go ahead and shield the first one up because you know they're not going to bait here. That would be a really risky bait. Um, although the Kambalion will probably go for Surfs. Um, yeah, not even going to charge up for the Moonblast. Just going to go ahead and go straight Surf. I agree with it. Um, even if they don't, which they don't shield, but that's totally fine. Like, you don't really even care if they shield. Um... Gonna go ahead and let this one go. Uh, now you can water gun down the Kabalian. Very nice. You love to see it. Uh, and now out comes Givatina. Givatina is gonna be able to throw an attack. You let this go. You keep the shields for that Steelix. And it is Ancient Power as expected. They're going for the boost as well, which also makes sense. But um, out comes Steelix. Um, Dragon Claw. Or actually, it might be Ancient Power to go for that boost. No, it is Dragon Claw. Okay. Um, the Shadow Claw is a neutral, I guess. Going for the Psychic Fangs, even if they shield it, that's totally fine because you just want to get the debuff. Uh, they don't shield it, which is even better for you. Gonna go ahead and let this go. Yeah, you could just honestly just Dragon Tail down at this point in time. Uh, this is gonna be a beautiful win here. The opponent realizes that and is gonna concede. With two shields left, good game. Well played to both trainers. Moving on, Steelix into Muck. Okay. Okay, you do have the Psychic Fangs. Dragon Tail is neutral. That is a pretty good matchup. Out comes Trevenant. Hmm. Okay, so the one thing I will say is Trevenant is kind of difficult for this team. Uh, you do have the Giratina, but especially when they're way ahead on energy, you really can't switch out into it. I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. Uh, and now switch into it. Okay, I like that. Maybe shield the next one farm down. I think that is probably the way to go, yeah. Trevenant is definitely tough. Uh, it's a seed bomb, which is unfortunate, but still, regardless of the bait, it doesn't really matter because you could still farm down. Uh, so, yep, gonna be able to do that. Muck is coming in, but this Givatina almost has enough for two. Yes, the Muck does carry Dark Pulse, but that is totally fine. Gonna be able to pick up the shield and able to get off another Shadow Ball. You love to see it. The Shadow Ball is going to either connect or get the final shield from the opponent. It's gonna connect so much damage. Um, Dark Pulse will KO, but that's fine. Um, you just let it go. And out comes Steelix. Wolverine is coming in. Wolverine will be hit with this um, Psychic Fangs right now. Um, and okay, very nice. They're just going to go for Icicle Spears now because Icicle Spear might actually KO. It might barely not KO, but um, I'm going to go ahead and shield it uh, and go for the Psychic Fangs. Really wanting to get off another debuff into that Wolverine. Let's see if the Wolverine shields. The Wolverine will shield this one. Okay, maybe trying to catch, but unfortunately not able to catch. That's fine. Uh, Wolverine is going to be able to go for an attack. It's going to be an Earthquake, no problem. Um, just want to get off a Surf, right? No. Oh, expecting the switch. Now I'm going to go ahead and go for the Surf. Now, 
uh, the Wolverine is not debuffed anymore. Uh, this is actually pretty close. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be pretty close. This is gonna be in a well. Yeah, Icicle Spear. Yeah, it is Icicle Spear. It doesn't KO. Okay. Oh, I think the the opponent might have this one. Yeah, the opponent looks like they're gonna win unless if this does not KO. It does KO. Yeah, the opponent actually gonna be able to win that one. Wow. Well played to the opponent. Well played to both trainers. Uh, picking up a Frillish. Too bad it's not shiny, right? Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much, Eastside Pasta, for sharing your battle experiences with us. Great games, well played, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.